that I really want to see how it plays out with Shift vs. Golden Glue. You're laughing, or I saw laughing, and that might have been Golden Glue being quite loud. Dignitas always laughs, <laughs> even in defeat. Ten minutes amongst mid laners in the LCS. Here, though, the gang finally coming in for Shifter. He's playing quite strong. He thinks with his 2v1 swap, he's safe to push down in mid lane, but he is not safe at all. A very good call by Crumbs and crew to come in and get the first attack in and first blood. They're not done with this one yet. That daybreak going out doors. But we still have some level threes and fives here. Oh, oh this is what they called it out for. They are going to be able to take out Dre Daydreaming now. Crumbs coming up with a help for two on that one. He takes a lot of those man drops. Dignitas actually doesn't know that Nintendo's only level 5 here, so they're worried about the Grand Skyfall yep. as far as this dragon comes down. They're forcing it anyway, though, because they have all five people here. Flash! Quite a bit of damage. Very nice hit. A huge Valkyrie in from Cutie Pie. Whoa, to the front line. Zion Spartan comes in. He is going to be trying to do some big damage off of the teleport. Hits up Cutie Pie for a kill. Not many people have the damage to take on Zion, and he is going to be getting another kill for himself. Twin Bite to come up onto Kiwi Kid. Should be enough. Actually, it looks like he's trying to leave it up to one of his teammates. They're not going to make it in range in time, and he does get the final kill for himself. Picking up one there. Looks like Coast is going to push a little bit on the bottom lane and relief. Before this fight started, and even though they got a clean initiation, they overdumped their damage onto Wiz Fusion. Notice how Cruiser and Golden Glue went onto Wiz Fusion, and then the death mark didn't even have to apply. That meant the rest of Coast could just run through the Dignitas team, take advantage of Kiwi Kid's low level with no stun because he have his own lane against Golden Glue, knowing he would have a bit of an edge with that this play. This is a counter gank opportunity for Crumbs here. Here's that level six. They look for the Q over to I'm a Cutie Pie, but they can't really activate anything. Crumbs shows himself. Not going to be. Yes, actually, Cruiser did not stop that teleport. Get some flashes out of the team. Daydreaming will go down in this one in the end valiantly as the rest make it out alive, but Dig is trying to grab position to carry the game. That's a level 9 to 9, so he's doing just right with the team now off on the wing. Shifters, Flash is up, but it's is it going to be enough? They close the gap way too fast, and Dignitas picks up another one. Exactly what... Done ready. Crumbs looking for another one in mid, throws down the Agony's Embrace. Isn't enough, though. Got to watch out for the Rune Prison right under the turret. Here comes that damage output from Shifter. It's going to be a little late from Nintendo. They didn't think they were going to go all the way under the turret. Yeah, that, because uh, every time he uses a spell... Oh, there's a dive. Coming in very big. Golden Glue gets himself in a sticky situation. He's going to go down. Nintendo oh. gets out with a sliver of health on that one. Wiz Fusion looks to pressure a little bit. A little scary there. Nice play by Crumbs to scare him off a little bit. But Or if he ults out, or if he gets caught out there. That was close. Wow, Nintendo not in the right spot. There, Daydreaming gets a nice solar flare down, and they take down Kiwi Kid. The initiation was used, but now everything after is in defense for Dignitas. Great shots coming from Wiz. They're not able to finish off Golden Glue. A lot of coast is that front end damage. If they don't have the follow-up in the fight, they're not going to get the Ooh. kills. You can see it's always that 20 for 50%. There, can they follow up on it? No! Once again, just getting out with a sliver of health. Coast, get in position. Dignitas can offer with their composition. Ooh. It's actually not even the smite that gets it, but a <laughs> this style of game where there's heavy lane swapping and an isolated mid lane really favors them. Daydreaming gets kicked. <laughs> Uses the cripple to get a few extra steps by him to kick him back at crumbs. Very well organized by the... As they have the wards. So the, the crews are going in for initiation. Whoa! Kick back no, nobody's really there to follow up. He's like, hey, I can get this, but nobody else can gap close with me. Still knows he has a bit of life to bait with. Nintendo could go down. He actually takes him, but he takes the Q at the same time as they draw for the kill. Another one going on to Shifter. Great coordination from Coast. Dig trying to put themselves back in the right spot, but Golden Glue too hurt early in the fight. Now it's Kiwi Kid who cannot throw out more of that front end damage. They see him? the DPS. That was a sweeper just on the other side. Golden Glue, I believe that was his to make sure he wasn't being seen, but Coast still sniffing him out, trying to pursue. There's going to be the oh. flame. Doesn't get it. He's trying to walk his way all the way through. The Randuins goes down. It's only a matter of time before the dragon gets its food. Just in the beginning of the game. Oh, another a little miscommunication there. He's pretty tanky. Wow, Kiwi Kid gets hit up as well. The solar flare was in front of the screen, and he got knocked right in the... It is backfired. We got to do something new. They are just diving past the turret for Coast. It looks like Dignitas is going to have to back off on that one. Inhibitor turret will fall. Coast, like I said, if they have the wards, can easily disengage on this and go back for Dragon, but Dig's not going to let him get too far, trying to zero them out immediately. Getting himself into a bad spot, using as many of the shadows as he can. And it looks like Golden Clue gets himself out alive of the fight. They're now trying to chase down Ooh. Coast. Cruiser gets hit up. A nice lockdown coming in from Nintendo to the rest of the team. Chaotic battles. 
going in for the one for Coast. Teams we hear TSM mainly say 4.4 kind of put a crutch on us in the way yeah. we play. Dignitas said that especially yeah. the 4.5 patch, they're, they can't wait for it to change more. Oh dear, coming in nice. Crumbs gets the lockdown on the smite, but how much is that gonna count? They go ahead, get a quick kill on the upgraded Oracle Sweeper, the Oracle's lens. And now it's going to be on his Solar Four Flare. Solar Flare down to start this fight. Nintendude goes in for himself. Still looking for Timbers from Kiwi Kid. And he looks like he's going to be on the backside. Not really able to get anything out for himself with the help. A bit lower. And there's one fewer member on Dingatoss. Nice catch. 16. But Daydream is level 12. And he gets instantly blown up as they try to go into Cutie Pie. Zion Spartan's been quite big. Shifter's still in the fight. But big damage actually coming out in the area of effect sense. And Coast takes a good hit there as Cutie Pie turns around bit of that auto attack damage red buff on so crumbs can also collectively get some damage on the few more shots the Sarah's embrace shield oh! don't save him but he goes down a big one coming out from cutie pie to finalize it better or for worse it's been better for them lately and this is an aggressive force knowing they force some coast people back yeah the baron is now a problem dignitas tries to give the other team the initiation on the ten dude deja vu for it. kiwi kid keeping the jungler out with tibbers and it looks like they try to get a big fight cruiser goes down instantly wiz fusion's got some focus down cutie pie takes one as he makes his way out of the fight that's nintendo going down and it looks like kiwi kid will be able to get the safety here everybody scatter we got the baron now get out of there that's what dignitas is basically doing they were all in the pit against that aoe damage and coast would have wrecked Woo. them are they really going to get away from this one kiwi kid he's got a long way to run and no turrets to defend himself no flash no ignite uh, hit after oh there's the passive movement speed coming in yeah. from wiz gets the ardent blaze gets and cutie pie was going in for some more after that nothing much is going to happen there this was really just all about the smite secure uh, Nintendo was stunned and initiated on, which is what stopped that. And actually, big time kill coming in from Mount Cutie Pie. Down from the back, no ultimate to slow though. We'll find a dragon. Oh, I don't think Zion Spartan knew he was going to find that there. Word in the brush. Well, that's actually going very hard in. Could he be getting there? Shifter hits it up quite hard. Nintendo gets himself into the fight with Mandrop, but it looks like he is turning tail as soon as he falls. Zion, Zion Spartan just says, Don't bring him to me! Oh, man! 30 seconds on the clock, and Coast is not going to be in position to be grabbing the Dragon. If it's even what Dignitas wants, they're going to have an open map to run through. But, back fight. Oh. Oh! <laughs> there you go. Had to sidestep yeah, real That was quick. a big smile on Amakuti Spy's face. He could have finished him off a little bit earlier. I've seen that before in solo queue or something. <laughs> yeah. The kills are getting quite Classic equaled out here. For the better, and it was actually Coast pushing down the bottom lane after the Baron had been taken, trying to get an advantage off the two kills that got them into the situation in the first place. And really, a spectacular teleport by Cruiser. This will be... This will be tricky. Watch for the Flash Initiate. The Distortion Boots have been completed. We're gonna want to catch a couple people, and Kiwi Kid goes in. There it is! Whoa! Kiwi Kid getting very close into the fight. The health bar, the Golden Glue, and Kiwi going down very fast. Golden Glue is able to get himself back out to that initial shadow once again. Very good at that. And they are microing in and out, but Shifter is able to find one onto Cruiser. The back and forth leaves it at a three for one so far, and Coast is using the walls of their base to bolster up. Get some kills. Very tough turret dive if they can't close his full tank build on Zion. It's great. Again, the Baron Force. Wow. They trust their smite. They want this fight. It's down to half. That's a very scary position. Three members on the Timbers. Coast Shifter getting hit up quite hard. Wiz Fusion's way too close to the middle of the fight, but he gets in a perfect spot. A very nice calling. Coast is now on the retreat, however, and they can't help him to turn around. There is no peel for the team. Crumbs gets Ooh. himself in a scary spot. Diggs already turned around for Baron. It looked like a mess, but the execution from Dignitas was awesome there. Everyone got caught in a ball. All of Cutie Pie's damage hit, all of Crumbs' damage hit. They forced them out and they get the Baron again. Dignitas coming up big. Dictating fights with Baron now instead of having it cause them the game. thought it was going to be a Baron steal again, which is why they grouped up. And it's exactly what Dignitas wanted. That time, Crumbs was in range for a perfect EVE ultimate and everyone else could just pile on. As well, Cruiser's kick actually hit everyone pretty much on the Coast team there, which is a surprising amount of damage. It's one of the big reasons they could wreck through there. Coast funneled in. And they know the jump's not coming from anywhere. They're almost safe. Coast either fights them on this next initiation or Dick gets the inhibitor and goes back out because it's a couple hits away. There it is. It may be a little too close. He pulls it. And Coast has to peel back for this Nexus turn anyway. Shifter popping his ultimate for that. And the initiation on Nintendo. Nintendo gets kicked away. He may not go down there. The Ignite is on him and he will live with about one HP. The calling comes out. Crumbs is trying to put himself in the front. He knows the Guardian Angel can Ooh. take the hit. There's the Hex Tricker coming up. 
They have taken that off, and Crumbs is going to be pierced on now. Take it down. Daydream is forced to flash out at the initiation. The big double kill coming out of the big rocket. Cutie Pie tries to stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Remember, Wiz's flash and his barrier are down. No, they've just come back up for this fight, and it keeps them alive. Well, we asked earlier, it's going to be carry versus carry, fusion versus Cutie Pie. For minions will eventually push their base, so they either have to go for Baron right away or force an initiation right away. The intensity is building. Final fights are what are going to come of these engagements. Good little bit of harass coming from Actually, Pie. He is shredding out Zion Spartan right now. If he has the ward in that brush, he doesn't want to travel too far here. He's got to oh be no. very careful. Oh no, they're chasing him down. He burns the flash, but he is still not near his team. Pie goes down. He gets a little too antsy trying to take down Zion Spartan. This could be Baron, but they may go straight down the mid. Yep, that's really a take dragon. the time. This could just be the game. They're taking this. There were two Dignitas people gone. They're just powering down these turrets. It's just at least sit in the base. They still got Wiz Fusion. He doesn't have the Triforce, and it's not going to do a lot of damage to the turret, but they already have it between the four members. They're trying to back. We see that Zion Spartan is trying to stop Crumbs as well. The Nexus is so close to going down. Coast looks to take a game off of Dignitas in the four matches, and they do. 15 kills for Wiz Fusion. Coast Chance coming up for the first time. Wiz Fusion, he had his breakthrough game. Such a fantastic game. Said in the beginning, the bot lane kind of needs to step up. And I think the whole team stepped up, and it showed yeah. across the board.